Okay, I would like to invite you for the very first time. It's an interesting combo of art and plants all in the same space. At Art Lounge Manila on August 7th for Plantitos y Plantitas, which is brought to you by Art Lounge Manila and Arid and Aroids. A pleasant good afternoon, a pleasant gloomy rainy afternoon to all of you here joining us from the comfort of your homes. We hope you are staying dry and comfortable even during this weather and this pandemic. Um, in behalf of Art Lounge Manila, I would like to welcome you all and thank you for being here with us this morning. Uh, welcome to the first ever live stream chat with the artists of Plantitas y Plantitas. This will be a series of four afternoons where we just get to chat and talk and even talk about plants and art um, with the artists um, featured in this exhibit by Art Lounge Manila. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you um, the two wonderful ladies um, who are joining us today. Um, first is um, Christine Lim. Christine is an advocate of Edenic Living and Sustainability. She is currently a volunteer as the Director of Culture and Arts for Sustainable PH, a nonprofit organization that promotes sustainability and, become, and becomes the forefront of green innovation in the Philippines. Lim is also one of the founders of, and the vice president of for external affairs 
of Christian Collective, an initiative she and her fellow Christian artists created to further evangelize the Word of God through arts. Lim can also be appreciated as a writer. She has her own column at sustainableph.org called Created to Create. Um, welcome, Christine. Where? There. There you are. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Um, and you. of course, um, we would like to welcome to the room Melissa Yung Yap. Melissa is a social entrepreneur, natural farmer, and artist. She is the founder of Got Heart Earth Kitchen and is the CEO of Greenstone Pharmaceuticals. Um, she graduated from the Development Studies Program and took up her master's in entrepreneurship at the Asian Institute of Management. She is currently enrolled at Harvard Business School, is this still updated? <laughs> Harvard Business School's owner president management program. She likes working with things that concern indigenous culture, art, food, and nature. So perfect, the perfect for uh, our Plantitas and Plantitas exhibit. Hi, Melissa. Welcome to the room. Hi. Um, Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, I, um, do you have friends who are watching? Baka you want to give a quick shout out to people who might be watching or just anybody in general. Yeah, hi, hi everyone. Hi friends, if you're watching. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, so before we get into the, right into the interview, um, we want to do a quick icebreaker. This is mostly for the people online watching. So um, for those 20 people out there, um, we're, I'm going to post three questions, um, and then if you you have to answer all three questions in one single post. So it's a multiple choice thing. So just say B B B A A A. Just the letters of your three answers, and the first person to post the correct series of answers will get a charcuterie box from Art Lounge Manila during the reception, the Thanksgiving reception of Plantitas y Plantitas. So you can join us with our opening cocktails virtually. Um, so we will be sending you that um, as long as you're within Metro Manila. <laughs> Sorry, Melissa! <laughs> Hopefully it will get to you then. <laughs> All right. So the title of this segment is what is the title of this segment? Are you a certified plantito or plantita? Okay, so you have to type the question, the answers to the th three questions in the comments below and get a chance to win the charcuterie box from the show. So I hope you all in the comment sections are ready. Oh, ayan, may mga, may mga commenters na tayo. Hi. Hi, Hi Christina. Hi, Faith. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we have participants. Okay, so guys, if you know the answer, make sure to participate. The first question is, is this plant an arid or an aroid? You have 10 seconds. Letter A is it's an arid and letter B, it's an aroid. Christine, Melissa, what are arids and aroids? Do you know? I'm not sure. I have an idea, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, my example. Why? <laughs> 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 okay, five, four, three, two, one. Wala pang sasagot sa comments, ha? <laughs> okay. Ay, may sumagot na. Okay, sige. Go. <laughs> okay, next. Joaquin. You have to post all your answers yeah. at the same time. All the answers to all three quest questions at the same time for your answer to count it. <laughs> Excited sila sa magate. Eh. Okay, here is the next question. What is the scientific name of this plant? Letter A, it's Monstera deliciosa, or B, Philodendron spiritus sancti. Parang hindi sila totoo pareho. Eh. So I don't know. <laughs> 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's it. Okay. There are some answers. Guys, answers all at the same time. Okay, now we go to the last 
And final question. And after this, you may post your answer to all three questions in one post. And the first person to get it all correctly will be contacted after this live stream so we can arrange how you can get your prize. All right. And the last question is, what are these holes in the leaf called? A, they are called vent holes, and B, they are called fenestrations. So you have 10 seconds. And that's it. What do you think they're called? Anybody? <laughs> Melissa, Christine? Ang hirap, hindi tinuro sa Harvard. <laughs> interview may example all right answers all right so we will um have someone contact the first person who got the answers correctly so at the end of this live stream, we will be giving you the cor the actual correct answers to those questions. And also, we will let you know who won the charcuterie box from Art Lounge Manila. Okay, so we know you've all been, you're all here for the interview. So tama na yung games natin. So let's get right into the interview. Christine, let's start with you. Um, the question is. Um, both of you will have to answer this. Huh? Um, do you consider yourself a plantita? Yes, of course. I consider myself as a plantita. Kasi syempre, number one, we have an edible garden here at home. So, nagtatanim kami here ng mga edible flowers and root crops and even veggies for our personal consumption dito sa bahay. And we also have a farm in Antipolo. Where we also plant yung mga gulay na kinakain namin. Plus, our whole family, including my kids, are vegan. And I'm also an advocate of Edenic living. Kaya, certified plantita talaga ako. <laughs> My stamp of approval, certified plantita. Oh, what about you, Melissa? Do you consider yourself a plantita? Um, yes, I think so. I live in a farm right now. So I'm learning how to plant more things, both edible and or uh, ornamental plants. Yay! Ayan, so we are standing in the presence of two certified plantitas. They both have their own farm, so you can't get any more plantita than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, since we're with you right now, Melissa, um, the next question is, how has nature and plants, especially being in a farm and being surrounded by plants all the time, inspired you to create art? It's been my, my inspiration ever since I was little. Um, I love um, growing plants and I always go outdoors and I paint outdoors and things like that. So I really love the organic lines and, and how nature gives us that relaxation and, and breathing and stuff like that. So it's really, it's really good for me. Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, same question for you, Christine. How has nature and plants inspired you to create art? Okay, so number one, um, plants have been my um, subject talaga when it comes to my artworks, plants and animals, because they are God's creations. And God has always been my inspiration, number one inspiration when creating my art, because um, God is an artist and um, the plants and everything around us is his masterpiece or his masterworks, diba. And um, I know that God is an artist because di ba nga sa Bible, when you open your Bible, it says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, uh, in the beginning, God created. And I'm just so happy to, to realize that God really is an artist because everything that we see around us is, is his creations. Plus, uh, his creations is something that no artist will be able to copy or replicate. And I find pure joy in my heart to be able to at least echo that in my artworks. And yun talaga na inspire for me. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for that answer. Um, what about you, Melissa? What particular thing or I, uh, the next question, uh, how has 
um, what particular thing or particular artwork did you enjoy making the most for this exhibition and why? Okay, so I enjoyed making Lush because I painted it um, while it was raining in the outdoors with my friends. They're here now, see Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. So we were <laughs> painting and chatting and it was really nice. And it's also the first work that I did with um, textile manipulation. So instead of just playing the, the tenala flat, um, I added some texture. And it's really inspiring because the, the Tigolis were the ones who weave those um, textiles. And I'm happy to get to incorporate them in a different way on my work. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Siyempre, na curious ako. This is off script. Sorry. <laughs> we're just being spontaneous here. Can you tell us a little bit about um, the... Uh, fabric textile manipulation that you're talking about i see some examples of it in the artwork behind you yeah so i <laughs> i work with a lot of indigenous communities all over the country and i really wanted to to create something that would integrate them not as charity but as like a collaborative work talaga so because I really love what they're doing, I wanted to support them not just because it's or not because of that, but because I really admire what they're doing, and I feel like they could be highlighted a bit more. So I'm using my art as a platform for the indigenous communities to be able to showcase their work, and I'm trying to. This is my way of doing because my art is my platform. So by putting them on the stage that I have, I feel like it's the best way, at least like that I can do as an artist and as a person to really show my support for them. Yeah, it's so it's so wonderful what you're doing that you're not just showing support, but you're also showing these textiles in a different, more modern light, which is um, going to make it more relevant to more people and to like the younger generation who may not be as familiar with these textiles. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, Christine, what about you? What particular thing or a particular artwork did you enjoy making the most for this exhibition and why? What got you the most excited? What got me most ex Lagi naman ako excited. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> hyper eh. But what, what I really enjoyed about doing these uh, artworks are the, the inspiration behind it. Um, as you all know, all my pieces would always be connected to, to the Bible. And I have a study Bible, and there's a, a part there where all the plants and flowers and herbs were written down. And those were mentioned, and all of them were mentioned in the Bible from the Old Testament up to the New Testament. And those are the subjects that I painted for this exhibit. My, my series is called Planted. And what I really like about this series is I was able to get to know God's creations more. And at the same time, got, I, I was able to get to know him more through the plants that he created. And it also made me realize a lot of things, not just about his creations, but also us as well. Because, of course, we are also his creations. And the series is called Planted because I believe uh, like these plants, we too are planted by God. And uh, there are things that are going on right now that uh, feels like we are in this uh, never-ending darkness and ang hirap ng life. And there are a lot of challenges, but we have to remind ourselves that when there is darkness, there's always God's light. And um, God, like this plant, uh, God can plant us in different areas. Uh, he can plant us in the richest soil. He can plant us in a, in a desert. He can plant us in a place where it seems like it's very impossible to grow. Um, many people would feel this right now. We are uncertain about a lot of things because darkness surrounds us. But um, we have to realize that all these uncertainties are nothing because we can always be certain about who our God is. And it is God who planted us. And definitely, we just have to hold on to that uh, truth because no matter what happens, even if we are in this darkness right now, we only need God's light to grow. And that light will make us grow in His perfect time. 
Wow, thank you so much. That was such an insightful answer and super interesting that um, plants and herbs were actually mentioned in the Bible. I did not know about that. And that's something I think I would be really interested in looking into. Like, thank you for sharing that. Super interesting. Okay, and then this this next question is my favorite, actually. <laughs> okay, so um, this question is for the both of you. You can answer at the same time. If may intindihan ng audience natin yun. So what do you appreciate most? Um, seeing um how like Christine uh talked about her art and like how Melissa talked about her art also. Um, Melissa, let's start with you. What do you appreciate most about Christine's art and her um perspective on tackling the subject of plants and nature for this exhibit? So art for me is like a window to the soul. So with Christine's work, her soul and her spirit is very connected with with her faith. And I love how she's able to connect that in a very solid way. And it exudes in her work. It's really beautiful. And I really love how she's able to, to stick with that, like her principles and her beliefs. And it gets translated into something that's tangible. So that's really amazing for me. Yay, thank you so much. Oh, what about you, Christine? What do you appreciate mo most about um, Melissa's art and her perspective on tackling the topic of nature and plants for this particular exhibit? Well, no doubt, Melissa is a very talented artist. Um, sobrang unique ng style niya, but what I appreciate about her work is her purpose. Because I believe um, art should go beyond the artist. It should always be something that is for others and not just for herself. And clearly, Melissa is that kind of artist. She really does things not for her own gain, but for the gain of others. Yes. Thank you so much. And now um, we are almost out of time and we have our last and final question. Um, and if anybody in the comment section has anything um, to ask the art, like with Q&A. <laughs> if, you, if you have anything, lang, kasi the, the, I did not expect the, the, um, the discussion today to be so um, filled with insight and be super interesting. So I'm sure the interest of our audience is also peaked and they have their own questions that they would like to ask you. So while we have you here, um, we want to take the opportunity for our audience to be able to ask you stuff if they have questions, if they have questions lang naman. But for our last and final question, why do you think it's important? Uh, let me flash the question. Why do you think it's important, especially in times like now during a pandemic and social isolation for a lot of people, to turn to nature and plants and art? Um, Christine, you can go first. Okay. Um, well, uh, I know that we are going through these kinds of things because God allowed it. And, you know, what the enemy, what, what evil... Uh, things intended for bad god god has already used it for our good and i believe god allowed this to happen because he has a message and it's an urgent one we have been too caught up with a lot of things that doesn't matter we have been too caught up with things that are for our selfish ambitions or our own um uh wants that are not really important and we have been so so far away from god and uh, we are missing out on our purpose and our purpose can only be found in him and turning to art turning to nature turning to plants is like turning back to god it's not light but it's really turning back to god because those are his creations like what i said earlier god is an artist and perhaps this is his way to remind us that we have to go back to him. We have to go back to things that really matters, his creations per se. Um, for example, art, it's nice to turn back to art because it makes us realize that if God is an artist and it was written that he created us after his own image and likeness, then God's capacity to create this world, God's power, to create something 
that is beautiful and good out of darkness, out of nothingness, is the same capacity that we have in ourselves. And we just have to hold on to that. Even if there's this pandemic, if even if we're in the middle of the lockdown, we are assured that we can go through this successfully with flying colors because the power of God is the same power that we have. And with plants, with nature, I believe it is God's way to remind us of his perfect love. When he created the world, nature came first. He created everything first before he created man because he wants us to have everything before, uh, to have everything uh, and to, to set uh, the, uh, to set the world na maayos na para sa atin. And the na nature for me is God's um, reminder for us of His perfect love. And that kind of love will never fail us. So at the end of the day, we just have to turn back to to these simple things because the the solution to our problems is really simple. We just have to realize who God is. And like it or not, at the end of the day, he is all that we need because Christ is enough. Thank you so much. Um, what about you, Melissa? Why do you think it's important, especially in times like now, to turn to nature and plants and art? Yeah, so just like Christine, I agree that um, nature is a manifestation of God because he created it. And it's nice to be around nature because it makes us feel the presence of God around us. And it's really therapeutic, like art. It, art has always been a source of therapy for me, and so is being nature. So, so being with nature. So in a pandemic like this, it's been really. Um, it's we moved to the farm, so we could be closer to nature, and also have that space to breathe and to feel God's presence around us. So thank you so much for this opportunity. I also want to say. Thank you to Ricky. He just commented on the comment section and Ma'am Susana. Of course, the Art Lounge Manila um, staff and the Arid and Arid staff. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to share our art in your stages. Okay. Thank you so much, Melissa, for joining us this afternoon. And also, Christine, um, do you... Um, do you have people to thank or would you like to have some parting words for our audience this afternoon? I would like to thank my friends for watching and of course <laughs> Ricky and Tito Suzanne and Art Lounge Manila and everyone who's part of this event. Um, thank you, thank you for, for, for inviting us and uh, giving us a venue to show not just our talents but God's talents. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Christine and Melissa, for joining us this afternoon and sharing so much insight into your art. I feel like um, people have a newfound appreciation for the artworks that you have on display right now because of the things that you've shared with us this afternoon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you for your time. Um, thank you for taking the time to be with us this afternoon, even if it was such, on a, such a short notice. Yeah, in behalf of Art Lounge Manila, thank you so much and congratulations on a successful start of the show. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank, thank you. you. God bless. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. There was so much um, insight to be gleaned from that quick chat discussion um, with artists Christine Lim and Melissa Young Yap. And please don't forget to join us for the next one tomorrow. Same time, 3 p.m., same place, um, the Art Lounge Manila Facebook page. We will go live by 3 p.m. And tomorrow, um, the artists, Dindon Cordova and Mr. Carlo Magno, will be joining us for this quick live stream chat session. So if you have friends um, who are interested and who might want to watch, please invite everyone, invite as many people as you can to our live stream. It, this will be a series of four live streams for um, our exhibit called Plantitos y Plantitas. It is an exhibit in collaboration with Arids and Aroids. So the exhibit is a combination of art and live plants in the same space. So it's super, it's a super interesting concept and we hope you can be able to visit our on-site exhibition. But if not, we will also have a 
um, an online exhibit platform for you to view the art that is available for this exhibition. Again, once again, um, in behalf of Art Lounge Manila, I'm Sindal Tiauses, and thank you so much for joining us this, this afternoon. See you again tomorrow at 3 p.m., same time, same place. Thank you. I would like to invite you for the very first time It's an interesting combo of art and plants all in the same space At Art Lounge Manila on August 7, for Plantitos y Plantitas, which is brought to you by Art Lounge Manila and Arid and Aroids. Um, just before we completely end the program, we would like to announce <laughs> we would like to announce the winner for um, the quick game that we had earlier. So the correct answer is um, letter B for this question, letter B for this question, and letter B for this question. So um, the winner is Jewel Chuan Su, who answered. Who was the first in our chat box to answer BBB? So congratulations, Jewel. Somebody will get in touch with you on to coordinate how you will be able to get your prize. And we would like to make a correction. Um, the live stream tomorrow will begin by 4 p.m., not 3 p.m. So that's it, everyone. Have, uh, have enjoy the rest of the day, and God bless you all. <laughs>